What's up YouTube, Chris here with the Model Trust 360 teaching you all how to install and use NXT to GOD for your JTAG or RGH console. Now um, this is a very simple easy tutorial. All you're going to need to do is download the file into the description called NXT to GOD. It stands for NXT which is you know the games to GOD which means games on demand. So what you can do you can install games to your hard drive from the disk and not need the disk to use them in the future. So um, once you download this file, just right click on it and click extract to NXC to God or click extract here. Either or, it doesn't really matter. So now that we have this folder, we'll just browse into here. You'll see it has media and a default XEX. All you need to do is just go ahead and open up your USB stick on your computer and drag this folder into here. Now I have already done this, so I'm not going to copy over it. So I'm just going to click no, but you're, you're not going to get a message like that. It's just going to transfer straight over to your USB stick and you'll be ready to go. So that's pretty much it with the computer. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the JTAG right now, and I'll show you all what to do from there. All right, guys, and welcome to the JTAG part of this tutorial. So now what you're going to need to do is insert the game that you want to rip to your Xbox. Um, for this tutorial, I chose Dishonored just because it's a newer game. I don't have it. I did borrow it from a friend, and I'm just going to go ahead and rip it to the JTAG now. So uh, first, what you need to do, just go ahead and insert the game. Uh, beyond the home tab of the Xbox menu go ahead and click X over the game to go into game details and then go down and click install now this is usually going to take about five to ten minutes to complete so um, I'm gonna go ahead and play some music for you all I'll come back you know here in a few minutes and uh, I'll continue with the tutorial So slow it down, son. Sipping on my styrofoam. Trapped inside a Webby's world like Pauly Shore and Biodome. I roll and ate the fire just so it could take me higher. Molten lava flow and smoking my volcano vaporizer. I haven't made it yet, cause rap is full of politics. So all you politicians suck my dick until you swallow it. My dreams must have a Twitter account, cause I'ma follow it. And anyone or anything in my way, I'll demolish it. Motherfucking monster steadily ripping it proper. Bitches, so get to the chopper. Mean as Baraka speaking at lava. Breaking better than Tuco Salamanca. Killer with flow, bouncing around like I'm taking a blow. Spitting it so out of control. Tripping the dough. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see it's on 96%. So what we're going to do now is if you, ha if you haven't done it already, go ahead and insert the USB stick into your JTAG with NXE to GOD on there. That way we can continue from this point on. So as soon as it installs, um, you'll see a little completion message show up. Um, it's a ga game installed completely. So just go ahead and click A to continue. Click B. And now we're back at the main dashboard. So go into quick play. Go over here to XCX menu and go ahead and start it up. Now if you don't have the XCX menu installed um, just go ahead and click on the annotation on the screen now and you can watch that video on how to install it to your JTAG or RGH console. So just go ahead and launch up XCX menu once you do have it installed and whenever it boots up we're going to need to click RB that way we can show the drive manager and you can see you know the contents of the drive. So it is already on USB stick 0 so just go down to NXE to GOD and go ahead and boot up the default.xex now once you boot this up, you're going to notice it goes to this black screen and it'll say Dishonored at location and it gives you the location of the installed game. Click A to convert the files or B to quit. So we're just going to click A and as you can see just that quickly we have converted it. So just go ahead and click A again and it'll exit out of NXE to GOD. 
So as you can see down in our quick play, if we just wait here for a second, you'll see it scroll and you can see the Dishonored logo here. So I'm going to go ahead and eject this game and I'm going to get up and get that out of the disc tray. Alright, so now that it is out, I'm going to close the tray and as you all can see, it will say reading and it will say open tray. Now that's what it's going to say when there isn't a disc in the in the drive itself. So go ahead, go ahead and down to quick play, go over here to Dishonored and click A. So as you can see, just click that, and we're going to wait for this. And if you click the middle dashboard button here, you're going to notice here how it says open tray. You can tell that this has not been edited, that it's playing in the background, and, you know, I don't have the disc in. So if you open that up, boom, there you are. You're playing whatever game you had without the disc. So you guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.